Welcome to BNA. BNA is the simplest A-B testing tool you can find. So it tries to mimic everything uh, Firebase A-B testing does, but with the advantage of being open and real time. Um, you can simply create an experiment uh, using the provided Swagger uh, documentation. Um, you can easily create all sorts of goals as well. So besides providing an experiment, uh, remote config functionality, if you're not familiar with that, um, we can provide further documentation uh, regarding A-B testing. But for now, let's uh, go through the documentation and see how we can create an experiment. So let's say that you want to test how effective uh, a screen would be, whether red or blue will lead to more purchases. So the Go ID you set, uh, let's say that your Go ID will be purchase. And the ID of this experiment will be subs1, like subscription. Um, what will be the event that will trigger uh, the enrollment on this experiment by a user? So if the user sends a trigger event, for example, user plan screen view, the user will automatically be enrolled on this experiment. And here you can define the variance. Let's say the, the first variant will be red and, the, and it will have three or more properties. Um, so let's say that the first property will be um, Romeo, uh, Juliet, and then couplet. Uh, you can have weight as well. This is the most interesting part. You can select uh, how frequent this will be in comparison to the other uh, variants. So let's add another variant here called blue, uh, where we want to set that this is going to be Mario and Luigi, and then here, Bowser. So the weight will be two. So we want to test more the Shakespeare uh, variant. Uh, we can create the experiment by hitting the execute button, which will be respond by OK. So we have the experiment created. And after this experiment is created, any user that sends an event um, of that ID uh, will be enrolled in this experiment. We will fast forward to our unit test just to show a little bit in advance. So we have the experiment services, we have the event services, we have remote config. Remote config is a repository of the user configuration. Um, with the advent of the experiments, you can actually uh, automatically uh, update the user remote configuration params. So here we are defining uh, two variants, A and B one with 90 and 10 um, weight, so it will be evenly distributed. We use some sort of uh, rounded uh, random, so we can actually uh, have a more um, yeah, controlled experiment on our sampling and our user base. The experiment DTO, that's, that's easy. And here we're just gonna simulate, let's say, thousands of participations, and we wanna see also if this uh, sophisticated uh, weighted uh, random works or not. So we're going to uh, give it a spin. So we should expect a distribution of 90 to 10, uh, literally 90% versus 10%. So we can see here that uh, 80, 896 uh, users enrolled on the variant A and 104. So it's an approximation. So out of a thousand participants, that was distribution. Um, under those users, we can see that the um, users from group A on the variant B, A will have the um, basically X set to A with on their uh, individual remote configuration. So you can fetch that using a web service and have your client or mobile application or browser application act accordingly. Um, and you can also check your results 
using the, the new uh, Redis time series and dashboards.